The Aiken High School dance team has made quite the name for themselves recently as the high kick and jazz teams have combined for seven state titles over the past seven years. Last season, they finished in the top three in both divisions. Sports reporter Anthony Scott has more on how the Aiken All-Stars are looking to get back on top. We rely on every single person. We can't have a weak link. We only get three minutes to show them what we've got. The Aiken dance team will have their one shot in both the high kick and jazz divisions this weekend for the state competition. And their experience from past seasons will pay off when the bright lights are on. At state, it's, it's a whole different environment. I mean, the energy is always there. There's always big bright lights and really a big gym. It's, it's fun. In high kick, the Aiken All-Stars took second place at sectionals, finishing only half a point behind Frazee, and the Jazz team was able to secure a spot at state as well by coming in third at sectionals. Now Aiken is focusing on getting every last point they can for state. The little details, that's what matters, that's what it's going to come down to. The chins up, the fingers together, the feet pointed, every single point is going to count at this point in the season. After winning state two years ago, the team went through a coaching change, and that affected chemistry. But now the squad is closer than ever. This year we do, I, I get that sense that we're bonded. And as some of the captains had said, they really are doing it for each other. The seniors on the team want the younger dancers to experience what they did two years ago. It was my dream. And I accomplished it and it was really, really amazing. I mean, that was my all-time dream and I want that for the younger girls. Aiken will have a chance to make their dreams a reality at the Target Center this weekend. Reporting from Aiken, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. Also competing in the state dance tournament will be Brainerd in both jazz and high kick, and Bagley will compete in the high kick tournament as well. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.